Hey guys, how you doing today? So, uh, out doing the walk with the dog real tip thing, and I guess the first thing to point out is uh, I have now turned the phone sideways, so uh, hopefully it's easier to watch uh, as I've got some feedback that holding it vertically is uh, perhaps a little challenging to watch uh, on YouTube. So, I am giving it a shot. It actually looks a little different to me, but we will uh, we'll make it work. So, today's topic I want to start with, uh, again, I think this will be a two-video morning, is... Um, you know, I, I hear so much talk and I see so many videos about being a millionaire. And, um, you know, I'm here to tell you, at least in this video, that I actually believe being a millionaire is the wrong goal. I, and, and why that's important is when you have the wrong goal, you do the wrong things, right? So um, what do I mean by that? So again, I think, I think being a millionaire is all about net worth, right? Another way to say it is it's a it's a balance sheet metric. And the problem with balance sheet metrics are that they're opinions, right? You you do your best, you know, your best effort. You're not being malicious or anything, but it's just a, you know, I think it's worth X and I owe Y, right? And the delta is your equity. Um, the other thing about being balance sheet oriented is it's, you can't use it to pay the bills, right? If you get in a pension, you need to, you know, you can't move some of your net worth over via a wire transfer or something. Um, so you can't really, you know, it's not really helpful if you get in a pinch. Now, of course, you can sell things, you can do things like that, but there's an additional transaction uh, that's required. So instead of, you know, instead of targeting being a millionaire or, you know, being excited, going to a party saying, hey, I'm worth 2.5 or 6.2 or, you know, whatever it is. I want us to change our thinking and I want us to talk about how much, you know, income we have coming in outside of our day jobs, right? How much passive income do you have? You know, how much is your side hustle? You know, I don't care what it is. Let's, let's, let's help, let's help, you know, get rid of that middle class mindset about having a high paying job so you can buy nice things. Let's talk about the passive income, right? That's the only way you can get out of the rat race or the matrix or whatever you want to call it is by focusing on your income and or your cash flow statement. So that's what I want us to talk about. I think that's far more impressive, right? If we're in a conversation together and you tell me you're worth a million bucks, I don't really care because, you know, in a pinch, you got, probably had to fire sell everything. It'd be worth half a million. So not very interesting. Um, but if you came to me and said, hey, I'm producing $2,500 a month from my rental portfolio. And oh, by the way, my monthly expenses are three grand and I only need 500 more. Dude, I'm going to be excited for you, high-fiving, you know, all those kinds of things. So uh, I think we just need to change the conversation. And again, this goes back to, you know, my childhood. I always thought being a millionaire was the goal, right? I mean, how many times do you see a video or a movie or, you know, any TV show that talks about somebody being a millionaire, right? That's, that's all that was talked about. So um, those are the things that I think are, um, you know, just ingrained in us. And I think we need to we need to change it to talking about passive income and, and you know things of that nature. So again, I think being a millionaire is the wrong goal. I think it focuses on the balance sheet when we should th talk about the income or cash flow statement. And uh, I think if we just start thinking about that, we'll make better decisions. Uh, we'll lower expenses. Uh, we'll create more uh, you know side hustle or second income or passive income, and we'll be having a uh, we'll be having a lot of fun. All right, take care. Thanks. Bye.